Hi, another video from Fast Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PS4 if it has this error message. Um, it's basically going to tell you that it can't access system storage and you're going to get the error code CE34335-8 and this problem is caused due to a defective hard drive. Uh, so what happens is when the PlayStation 4 can't read the hard drive it doesn't start because a lot of the critical operating system files are located on the hard drive. So it does not boot and won't start till the hard drive is replaced with a working one. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that today on your PS4 Pro. I'm also going to be adding links in the description for uh, hard, the hard drives for these PlayStation 4 units. Uh, we sell them on our website uh, and we have them in stock for PlayStation 4 Original, PlayStation 4 Slim, and PS4 Pros. And I'm also gonna be adding uh, the link for the update file that you're gonna need um, after you've replaced the hard drive. Okay, so we have a PS4 Pro here. Now, um, to access the hard drive bay, we're gonna look at the back of the console here. And at the back of the console, there is a flap here that we can just pull and release, like so, and it comes out. Once we've done that, there's going to be a Phillips screw that we're going to remove. Once we've removed that, then we can just pull and the hard drive is going to come out like so. It's just that easy. Okay, once the hard drive is removed, we're going to have to take it out of this enclosure. Um, if you buy it from us on our website, we do have the option of you buying it with the enclosure. But uh, if you buy it without the enclosure, then uh, you're going to do this step as well. You're going to remove these four screws that hold the hard drive inside the enclosure. Like so. Once the screws are removed, the hard drive should just come out. And we're going to install our new hard drive. Just put it in and then install the screws. You might want to tighten them diagonally just so that they all fit but slowly and then you tighten them all together. We sell the, we sell the hard drives and all other PS4 Pro parts on our website www.fasttech.ca. So once we've installed the black screws that hold the hard drive in place, we're gonna install our new hard drive by just pushing it in and then we install the big Phillips screw that holds it in place. And then we install the flap back on. This side goes in first. And then you just push it in. And it clicks. And it's just that easy. Now we've installed the hard drive. Now we have to install the software on the hard drive um, to make this work. And I'm going to be showing you guys that in the next step. Once uh, we've installed the hard drive, we're going to plug the console in. And we're going to uh, plug it in on our TV, turn it on. And then it's going to take us to this screen, which it's going to show in a few seconds, where it's going to ask us to install the, the system software update. It's gonna say it can't start and it's gonna require a system software update. Uh, and I'm gonna be adding the instructions on, in, the, in the video description. Uh, uh, and on, I'm gonna put a link to Sony's website where you can download the update and put it on the USB stick. You're gonna download the update, put it on the USB stick, plug it in the console, and make sure your controller is plugged in with a USB cable. Then you're going to press the PS button, this button right here. And then it's gonna take you to this screen. And it's gonna say connect the USB storage device. I'm gonna put the um, 
put the files on a USB stick, and then you're gonna press OK. You're gonna plug the USB stick in, in your PS4, press OK, and then it's going to start uh, looking for the update. Um, and then we're basically just gonna press yes. It's gonna install the update. The console's gonna restart and you're basically done. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the next screen. There you go. Okay, so now it's gonna say PS4 will be initialized, da da da, all data will be deleted. There's nothing on this hard drive anyway, so we're just gonna press yes. And now it's initializing. It's gonna do this and it's gonna restart. And then it's going to take you to another screen where it's going to install the software. Um, and basically that's all there's to it. It's going to restart and uh, the rest of it's going to be done by the PlayStation 4. You don't have to worry about anything. The software is going to take it from here and we don't have to do anything else. So it did the update and uh, now it looks like it's ready. Uh, now we basically just have to set it up. Um, English, United States. Next it's going to ask you to set up your Wi-Fi. And once you've done all that, um, you should be good to go. Uh, we're not gonna set up the Wi-Fi right now. Set up later, skip. Um, US, Canada, next, next, next. It looks like it works. We have a new hard drive in it. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Thank you.